Nice motor. Nice motor. Ah, so should we go and make a record?
I wrote a couple. What? I will. I will. I will. You know, I don't love you. That one. Yeah. And Obladi oh, Oblada. Oh, yeah. Surprising things to write out there. I remember. Remember going down to. Remember going down to a film show at the village. What was that? Did you write any Obviously not. I wrote Sound and Sea. I wrote a number of songs which I've never recorded to this day. I wrote one called Dara Why don't you play it for us? Ah, I don't know if I know. Dara Dara Doon. Dara Dara Doon. See you for the next 40 years. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, well, that should end the series. You could end on this note then. Uh, and, uh, but so it, I think it was Candlestick Park. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It was. It was this is oh, Candlestick Park. This is Candlestick Park. Yeah. No, it's been a very nice day. Thanks for having us, George. Thank you. It's been really beautiful and moving. I like hanging out with you. Little chinchy face. At the beginning, when I joined, Paul yeah. was the only one who would sleep with me. Well, there was actually a little bit of a, a, a thing to that. I, I was never very prejudiced. Yeah. No, I thought that was, was the best move, really, because when you joined and you were like the new fella, and no. nobody, and I thought, well, if I hang out with you, then they'll all be like, you know. So I thought it'd be good to you know. put Paul with him. Yes, yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> because then, then it would, would be all right. Then. Then. Yeah, it would anyway, because then, then it changed. Like, it would be with anybody. Yeah. Yeah. For a while, we was while we was with John and I. We didn't. We just sort of you know went on for a different. And actually, course. I enjoyed it a lot because you know it wasn't the kind of thing you'd done much. I mean, no. as kids, we hitchhiked. So like me and George got down to Harlock and you'd sort of sleep in the same bed and just because you know it's like a bed B and B kind of thing. Well, I, I haven't really done much of that being away from home when we started. I haven't so, done any of it because I'm an only child. And you, you Butlins, almost. Yeah. Yeah, but I still stay home. Uh, so it was kind of good, you know. So um, it was great, you sort of staying in a room with a friend and that, and seeing his habits. I mean, you so, you stayed up late, didn't you? You yeah. couldn't sleep. Yeah. So you'd always have to. He'd have to have the light on. <laughs> so he'd be like, he's right under the top. It was very <laughs> wild. Poor man. So you'd have to, you know, he'd have the light over there and you'd have to sleep this way. You couldn't, like, ask him to turn up. It was good, though, you know, you get to know each other. You know, my hair, I'm still trying to make it go back. Like oh, a rock and roll you can hair. Use. <laughs> Uh, but really, naturally, it just goes forward. And we used to use that Vaseline, like really thick Vaseline, and just get it go back like that. And I remember once we went to the swimming baths in Hamburg, and I remember walking back down towards the Reaper Barn, and it dried, and it was all like that. And then by the evening, we saw our friends who was all MD yoga and Ashton, 
and I remember them saying, oh no, no, don't do that, It's really, leave it like it is, it's really good. Mm. It was kind of like that, and everybody around that time was starting to just, because of their influence, if they'd have said, no, no, it's naff, we would have probably changed it, but because they liked it, then we liked it. We didn't really go with it in a major way, we still... When it got into a permanent... Well, we did, I remember when John and I went to, he had his 21st, and he got 100 quid off his uncle, who was a dentist in Edinburgh. Um, <laughs> you know, very, very elevated stuff that we'd never known the likes of like anyone who had a relative as a dentist. Anybody who had 100 quid. 100 quid. <laughs> oh, well, to this day, I say, no one's ever given me 100 quid on my birthday. Smack, 100 smackers. Whoa. That was, I mean, and then, as you can imagine, it was just Tony like... Tony had a known last Saturday. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, all the time. Next time, next time. But, um... I even have it. <laughs> but John got these, this hundred quid, so he said, oh, you know, what, what should we do? We were hanging out. So we decided to go to Spain, spend this hundred quid. We got as far as Paris. We hitchhiked, got as far as Paris. Um, I decided, no, we'll, we'll maybe go to Spain, maybe later in the week, because we kept liking Paris. And then we bumped into Jürgen, who was our friend from Astrid and Jürgen and Klaus. Bumped into Jürgen and said, um, your, your hair's nice, you know, could you do ours like that? <laughs> so he said, are you sure you want this? Oh, maybe some, no, yeah. Hello, so, yeah, yeah, go yeah. on, you know, we're on holiday, Paris, go on and all that. And so he did, and we arrived back in Liverpool with this sort of, me and John with this sort of funny hair forward like you were saying and everyone was a bit dubious about it but it just, just fell into the thing then and we sort of kept it forward Sounds and good you brushed you. yours forward, Ringo always had a big grey shock under there from when he was a kid Still well there, he had to have his push done to join the band then and he had to, uh, it's the only way I could join and it was like, uh, what's his name? The, but it was uh, cool because when it came forward you didn't see his grave he had a beard too a beard, yeah. beard so going off the beard like keep bloody, the side, bloody rich point your head in. you know, we so want to see go. these faces yeah, we've got a look see going here face man Not I looked about beards, some you know, uh, beards like this actually just before I joined you guys. That's right, yeah, only with a suit. He actually saw a London band in Hamburg and one of these London bands had this boot with a big point, uh, it had like a chisely pointy toe and a Cuban heel and we thought, hmm, they're good. Mm. Where did you get those? And he said, uh, it's in London, it was called uh, Anello and David's and we went to Anello and David's and bought those boots and then later we thought, hey, they make them, we'll make our, get our own mm. made. It was a ballad. So the one that became the Beetle boot was like ones we had made, but the original one, remember it had that elastic down the side and... Yeah. Yeah. Two. It was a ballet shop, wasn't it? Yeah. And and David, it was ballet, you made ballet stuff and tutus and, and shoes. You could, it's where all the little girls went. So we'd yeah, be making tutu. our... Uh, we were getting our um, Beetle boots made and looking at the little ladies made. with their children, you know. No, you had the tutu. Mm. I never, I never had one of them. I just said, well, it was Ringo with his feet bandage, wasn't it? Yeah. You had to go into those little ballet shoes. <laughs> so yeah, terrible. so we had a mail, and then later <clears throat> we had, uh, you know, we started realizing you could get whatever you wanted. So because at first they were all the same, then we could have like when we made the yeah, films, we get ah, oh, I got a cord suit. <laughs> What boots would go? I'll get cord boots. Just give them the same fabric and make them. And then they had like ankle ones, calf ones, knee high. You know, all kinds of ones. Got 75 quid my first car. Off Johnny Hutch? That was a good car. Was it off Johnny Hutch? Off Johnny Hutch. Now, what colour was it? Red and white. Hand painted. Yeah. <laughs> painted by hand. <laughs> and you had a green Anglia. Blue. Blue. That was much later though. Yeah. I took you to get that car. Did you? Yeah, I took you to Warrington. Yeah. And as we were coming home, you may not remember, oh, yeah. you were speeding and I was speeding, and we were both close to each other, and then you overtook this car in front, and I got right up to this car, and I was ready to overtake him. Just as I got right up his arse, a dog ran out in front of him, so he slammed on his brakes, I smashed right into him, <laughs> broke the fuck out of my car. What was lucky, it was by a garage, because I drove it, I was pushing her into the garage, because I had no license or insurance. Did I stop, or did I keep going? Oh, you just kept going. I didn't see you. Yeah, you just didn't put it down. Even to this day, I never knew about that. Yeah. 
<laughs> so did you have a <laughs> just a bad leg? Did you, did you ever meet Elvis again? <laughs> I felt I'd met him several times. You felt him? Yeah. Well, no one really didn't stand up. <laughs> 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 yeah. How do you mean you felt we, him? We remember him I well. I have some memories that I met him several times. But maybe it was just the one night. It's called no, flashbacks, no, no. I think. Yeah. 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 Did you meet him again? No, I met him just once. You met him? I met him in Madison Square Garden when he was just, I suppose, a couple of years before the end. It was a bit sad, really. Rhinestone. Because he... Um, it was like he had all them squawking girl singers and trumpet players and really all that stuff but he had a great rhythm section james burton and uh sure you know all that gang and uh i just wanted to say to him just get your jeans on and get your guitar and just do that so i went now. to see him in vegas and bugger all that other crap you know all this thing about after, the, uh, after the um are you so in vegas yeah Mm. Well, I only met him that once, that night. He was, when I saw him, I was like a hippie and I had all this denim on and I had long hair and stuff down to here. It was in the early 70s and uh, I went backstage to meet him and, you know, those big dressing rooms, like, you know, miles of toilets and stuff. And so I was sitting there talking to the guys again, and he was nowhere to be seen. Then finally he came round the corner, and he had that big white outfit with all the gold things and the big belt buckle like this. And he looked like Ringo. He was all <laughs> his beard was, was varnished. <laughs> no, he, you know, all his hair was black, and he was all tanned and stuff. And he seemed like I thought I was meeting Vishnu or you know Krishna or somebody. It was just like wow. And I just felt like this little snotty, grubby little, oh, well, this is how are you? you know, and he was like, hi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> just, just all this big white thing. And, and I just wanted to say, oh, why don't you just, just go and do that, all right, mama, and, um, yeah. you know, and Baby forget all those chick singers. Oh, I did it my way. It was sad, but he did a couple of good tunes. Yeah. But did you ever meet him again? Not after that day, but he was great when he was great. <laughs>